So in the previous lecture we have learned about the layers and masking concept. In this lecture we are going to learn about the text animations. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we are in Adobe After Effects, we are going to create a new composition and we will call it as text animation width I am going to choose 1920 height is 180 and frame rate I am going to choose 30 seconds and background color I will choose black color and for the duration I will choose 30 seconds and then I will hit ok. Now choose grid and guide option and hit title save action. Now in the previous lecture we have learned about the all the layer concept and masking concept. Now with the help of all this knowledge we are going to create some text animation. So and we will learn something unique about this text tool. So I am going to select this text tool. The shortcut key for this tool is Control T. So as you can see you can switch this between two vertical type tool and horizontal type tool so as i said shortcut key is control t so if i control t again as you can see we can choose this horizontal type now in this lecture we are going to learn this horizontal type tool so i'm going to click on it and i'll type the text i'll type motion i'll delete this hit ctrl a to select all of them now as you can see we have one option over here which is our character now i'm gonna click on it and over here you will get all this option like this is for font size as you can see this is for the distance between this text i mean for al alphabets and this option is for the vertical distance for example now suppose i'll hit enter and i'll type motion again I'll hit Ctrl A to select all of them and if I change this option as you can see it will increase the distance between two words. So I'm gonna delete this text because we don't need over here. I'll hit Ctrl A and I'll over here you are getting these two options one is for fill and one is for stroke. If I click on this one I am free to choose any color I want. I'm gonna choose white color and I'll hit OK and if I click over here we, as you can see whenever we move our mouse point over here we will get this stroke color click to activate so i'll click on it and i'll double click over here and i am going to choose any color i want i'm going to choose red color and i'll hit ok now after that as you can see we are getting this red stroke color over here i'll hit ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center and i'll press s for scaling option and i'll scale it a little bit to see as you can see we are getting the stroke now over here you can increase the stroke width with the help of this option and i'll de increase this scale like that for now and these are all these options the help of that you can scale it with the help of that you can scale it also and over here you will get this bold italic caps etc etc you can try these options now we are gonna focus on our animation concept so i don't want this stroke over here so what i'll do i'll delete this stroke from here over here i'm gonna choose any color i want i'm gonna choose white color over here you can type whatever font you want as always i'm gonna choose my favorite font oswell and i'm gonna choose oswell something around light just like that and I'll increase the font size then I'll select this text I'll press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center then I'll go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically now I'll select this text I'll hit ctrl D on my keyboard I'll press V and I'll move this downwards with the help of shift then I'll press ctrl T again to select my text tool and I'll click over here and I'll type another text which is called graphics just like that now I'm gonna select this text and after the character you will get this option which is called paragraph so this is just alignment of para I'm gonna choose center align so as you can see we are getting difference over here also make sure that you are selecting this text and make sure that you are also using center text just like that 
Select both of them and press Ctrl Alt Home to align the anchor point to the center. Press V for selection tool and I'll move them over here. Just like that. Now I'm gonna select this text and I'll go to the character menu and instead of lightweight I'll choose medium font or let's say regular and for the color I'm gonna choose blue color just like that we will move this thing over here like that now we will animate this text now in after effect there are two ways to animate this kind of text one is manual and one with the help of effect and presets panel so we are gonna learn both of them first I will show you the animation with the help of our effect and presets panel so I'm gonna select this text I'll go to the animation presets and then I'll go to the text then over here as you can see we are getting this much options so I would suggest you for the practice go and try to use all of them let's see how we can use this text for example suppose I'm going to 3d text then as you can see we have one animation called 3d flip in rotate text make sure that you are using uh, I mean selecting the text you layer you want and simply double click on it as you can see the animation is applied and now if I hit U on my keyboard to reveal my keyframes and if I hit enter not enter but spacebar to play this as you can see the animation is applied my on my layer and then you can select these keyframes you can hit F9 on keyboard to ease and ease those keyframes and then you can go to the graph editor right click I'll choose edit speed graph I can select this and with the help of shift I can adjust this also so now if I hit play as you can see we will get this kind of animations so after effect provide us all kind of animations like this so I'm gonna suggest try to use all of them so I'll hit ctrl z to reverse and now we will focus on our manual animation so over here I'm, I'll go over here and after that as you can see in text we will have this one option which is called animate now if I'm gonna click on it as you can see we are getting several options over here now let's choose position now whenever I'm gonna choose any property out of it they will tell me to decide the initial position of my text so as you can see this is position so we need to adjust the initial position of my text so I'll move this downwards like that and then we will go to the range selector and then we will create one keyframe on the start if I hit and then we will go to around 1.20 frames maybe and I'll make this 100 and if you want this animation to be start from the end so all you need to do I'll delete these keyframes then make sure that you are creating keyframe on the end and make sure it's 100 and then go to 123 keyframes and I will make this 0 so we will get this kind of animations now select both of them and hit F9 just like that now we will go to the add menu again as you can see first we have go to the text and then animate then we get this animator one now after the animator one it also provides us add menu which which provides some sub properties like blur etc etc so now over here you can choose any property you want I am gonna choose this property which is called tracking and now if I increase the value over here we'll get something like this so as you can see we will get this kind of tracking over here let's make it proper 50 like that now our animation for this motion is done now we will animate this graphic also so it will now I'll select this and I'll choose this animate and I'll go to the position and again I'll adjust the initial position but this time I'll move this upwards now I'll go to the range selector I'll create one keyframe at the start because in the previous one we have chosen this from the end so now I'll choose this from the start I'll select this motion and I'll choose U I mean I'll hit U to see reveal my keyframes I'll go over here and let's make this 100 now I'll select those keyframes and I'll hit F9 now again I'll go to the animator one and I'll choose add property and then I'll choose tracking and this tracking I'll choose 50 
so uh, my animation will look like this now i'll hit u to reveal my keyframes and i'll unhide this motion text also now we will create one rectangle and make sure that you are not going to choose any stroke over here so i'll delete the stroke and now i'll create one rectangle over here press ctrl alt home to align that rectangle i mean the aligned anchor point to the center i'll select this shape layer then i'll hit enter and i'll call this layers as a mask layer now in the previous lecture we have learned about the masking concept now with the help of that we are going to create this elegant text animation just that before that i'm going to select this keyframes then i'll go to the graph editor i'll select this graph editor with the help of shift i'm going to move this over here and this one over here just like that now i'll hit you i'll select this graphic i'll press f4 over here now i'm going to choose alpha inverted map because i want this animation like that then i'll select this mask layer i'll hit ctrl d and i'll drag it about this motion text and over here i am going to choose this alpha mask alpha layer mask layer one so if i hit play now i'll get this kind of animation now right click i am going to create this null object and then i am going to select all of them and i'll make it apparent with this null so i'll select this null i'll press s initially after this animation done i'll create let's make it 120 create one keyframe and go to around t 3 seconds and let's make it 100 again select both the layers hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph and with the help of shift i'll move this thing over here and i'll move this thing over here so if we hit play now we'll get this simple text reveal animation now there is another thing you can do you can click create one adjustment layer in the previous layer as we have said that in the adjustment layer you can apply any effect you want over here i'll apply one effect called glow so i'll simply double click on it i'll increase the glow radius and then i'll decrease the glow intensity to 0.5 so if we hit play now we will get this kind of animation and we'll get some glow then we will press ctrl y to create a solid background layer and for background color i'll choose black color hit ok and i'll drag it down so with the help of text animation concept and masking concept and with the help of null object and adjustment layer concept we have created this elegant title animation so that's it for today's video we will see you in the next lecture